or chose the mountains, you know? Right. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah, why, why add more, more miles? To the poor horses? Yeah. Because they're young, it'd be different. Yeah, we're riding far enough. We're riding two 15-year-old old ladies. Because I used to, you know, leave them here. Ah, ha, ha. Is it really that or is it COVID? What's that? Is it really that or is it COVID? Do you see the shine? Oh, yeah, I see it. I thought you were just messing around. No, don't. Eagle hole, we don't want to go in. It's okay. That's okay. You deserve it after waiting like 20 minutes for somebody to pee. The reception's up here. I didn't even check mine. I'm having too much fun. So yeah, especially when you don't have a horse to ride, you can't just get on and ride when you want. Especially poor old Firefly being so overweight. Yesterday, I couldn't get her to go faster than a couple little steps. Oh, I'm talking about when we went on the flat and you told me to get her going, and then right as I got her going, that damn dog... We've, we've gone up all those hills, so I'm sure she was tired. Well, that damn dog is what stopped her in those trees. Or that she was getting going, you seen her. And then that dog, and she's like, freeze! If you need another drink, let me know. She's starting to neck rain a little bit. <laughs> I can't help but do it, you know? Yeah. When all of our horses, you know Papa's horses. Yeah. That's all we did was neck rain. Neck rain she's getting it, look. Not very much, but she's starting to turn that head and get it. Sage is doing amazing today. Good girl. That a turkey up there by that tree? It's one turkey. Corn. Yeah. They say that they're not that crazy. That's <laughs> Right here. Where the wood is there? Yeah. I think that's a spring. 
Right. I didn't even see the pond. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. I thought that was a road right there. I thought that's why it went up like that. <laughs> I'm starting to like her gait. Goodness gracious. Somebody messaged me and goes, you should have filmed the whole ride. <laughs> you know how long that ride would have been yesterday? That would have been a long video. No, but Kamani is not as big as she looks. I'm taller than her. She's not, I don't even think she's as big as Sage. Really? Really, I don't think so. She's 14 too, last time I measured her. I don't know, she, Sage looks huge, but Kamani also, the built, yeah, and Kamani's got a short back. She's got a short back and she's still a baby. Yeah. Okay. But you gotta go down that road. You want to ride the gravel road with all the. I know. That's why one of the things I hate. Everyone's like, "You're so lucky where you live." It's like it's mostly gravel and uphill. There's nowhere to really run and work your horse. Yeah, but you can come up here. Oh, not by myself. I won't. I just about lost my phone. It unclipped itself from the stand. That would have been fun to get off and get on. Got a really nice view though. And a horse's butt in the way, but a good view. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Grace. Another Oregon Trail. Now people will believe me when I say I live on the Oregon Trail. So I got a few messages. No, you don't. Even on our property, we have Oregon Trail signs. Let me walk Firefly up here. See if she'll come a little bit forward. There. You're gonna fall like that. Bring her forward more. Oh, you did it. Good job. Oh. I didn't feel anything after I put my hand there. Woohoo! She stops. We don't have any trains going up that door. What? But it's not like what Papa's and new. Three cars doesn't make a mile long trip. Or a three hour train. Yeah. Had jackasses come out here and park freaking overnight and it's like ugh. Come here. Huh. With me, I'm not going any further without her. Something like that. I love the way she looks around the corner. Come on. She looks around the corner like, um, is there something there? <laughs> okay, sorry for the abrupt ending of the video, but shortly after the clip that you guys seen last of us going down that road, the older horse that I was on just got wore out. We are just walking. We were about a half mile from the trailer. She was doing perfect, and all of a sudden, I wasn't filming, and she went down. We were right next to the cliff. And she just tripped on herself, got exhausted, and from doing two days in a row, and she hasn't been ridden in a while in the heat, and she just exhausted because she's overweight. She went down on her knees and slammed her face into the ground, and I went flying up onto her neck and slammed my whole pelvic area into the saddle horn. And then um, 
she stood, stood there for a minute like she was going to continue to go down. So I got my feet out of my stirrups real quick so that if she went over, I could get off. And then when she stood up, I lost my rein and I got off and walked her the last half mile. And as I was walking her, she almost went down a couple more times. She was just exhausted. It was just too much in two days for her. So she's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine. I walked her the last half mile and we just, we were going to do trailer loading with Kamani. And, but, you know, she needs to get her horse home, get it off the trailer, and let it lay down or whatever it's going to do and rest. So, it'll probably be a week or two before we go for another ride, but that's why the video ended so abruptly. But we're both okay. We just now know that, you know, she can't do two days of work back to back. Because yesterday we rode for two and a half hours. Today we rode for four and a half hours. So, it was just too much for her. She hasn't been ridden in a while. So, she's okay. I'm okay. And that's why there's an abrupt end. So, I'm ending it here. Feeding the ponies. Alright, bye guys.